Today we're going to be tying a flashbang midge. We're using a Daiichi 1120 in a size 16. Our bead is a Quicksilver glass bead from Spirit River. The thread we're using is a UTC 70 in black. Just going to create a little base layer of thread right behind the bead. Next, we're going to tie in our micro tubing. Just capturing the tip behind the bead and wrapping it up towards the front here. Go ahead and throw a whip finish on there so I can use the rotary function on my vise. Then we're going to wrap the microtubing down the shank. Once we get the microtubing back to the bead, we're going to go ahead and capture it with a couple of turns of thread. And I always trim the microtubing off really tight to the thread because it sucks that tag end up underneath, which produces a really clean looking fly. Next, we're going to take our flashaboo. We're going to tie that in. We're using a pearl and a 1 one hundredth. We're going to capture that back to just the point of the hook. Next, we're going to tie in our white floor fiber. About 10 pieces or so ought to do it. Fold that around the thread and pull it into place. Go ahead and capture that back to the point. This just helps build up our thorax a little bit and also doubles as our legs. A couple of capturing turns. And then we'll pull each half of the floor fiber down either side of the hook, creating our legs. Next we'll pull the flash boot up over the top just to add a little pop to this fly. couple of turns over the top, one in front, and then we'll trim that off really close. Then we'll whip finish the bug, and you're just about done. Trim off our thread. Final step is trimming the legs, and I'll pull the legs back to the bend of the hook and come straight up. It gives them a little bit more of a pronounced look, and the fish seem to really like it. And that is a flashbang edge.